Hello everyone and welcome to Tech Cave. My name is RJ. So um, if like me you've been using SketchUp Pro and uh, you've used the um, uh, to download the imagery data to sort of sketch out your buildings to start with and um, found that the resolution of it is really quite pitiful sometimes that you can't actually determine the size of the thing then um, I've got a little um, way I've kind of got around that um, there doesn't seem to be any way um, that you can increase this resolution. If we go up to, um, where is it, in the files, geolocation, um, add more imagery. When you go into this, uh, let's just zoom that down a little bit so it's the right size there. I can't zoom in any closer. So that's as close as I can get. So I'm working on this project here. I'm going to make up these little buildings in 3D. Um, these aren't too bad actually because they're a reasonable size but if you're going to work on something that's a lot smaller and you're not really sure quite what's what then you're kind of struggling there um, and there's nothing to sort of select a different um, different map options so what you can do is um, center where you actually want to, to download um, and actually download the low resolution image okay so you go select region and grab okay so I've already done that and I've done that here so here we can see it's fairly low resolution now one thing also to mention as well before doing this is go into your preferences and one thing to make sure if you go down to the OpenGL and make sure that you use maximum textures um, because then even if you do um, do a high resolution um, it still looks a little bit fuzzy without that and I'll click that off and uh, after we've imported this and you'll see what I mean so um, if you didn't already know um, Google Earth um, have now allowed you to have Google Earth Pro, which you used to pay, I think, $400 for. Um, it's now free. So um, go and, go and uh, upgrade to Google Earth Pro. Just type in Google Earth Pro into Google um, and just download it. In here, you've got, um, which you had in Google Earth, but I don't think you could change what resolution. You've got sa um, the Save Image button there. So what we can do is we can zoom into the area that we want, as close as we can get it, really okay and make sure that it's on plan view as best as possible and then hit the um the save image and you can change on here the resolution um, there's also map options for putting on scale and total headings and all the rest of it but you can switch all that off if you uh, if you want to i certainly do um and then you can put there to max so you can get a maximum for it by uh, 40 90. um so that's a pretty high res um, don't really need that. We can just go for the 4K um, and then click save. Save it to um, um, LE building, which is what that is. Yeah, there we go. Save that. Right, okay. Now that we've got that saved, we can go into uh, back into SketchUp and um, we can create a plane don't have to you can just you can just drag in you can just import the image straight in but I don't know why I like to create a plane um, and also make sure that the faces are on the white side you can change the faces to whatever color you want so then make sure that they're um, they stand a bit more so uh, make sure that the image is um, being projected onto that side so we go into our materials down here on the right and add a new material and then go and find um, in my pictures I had a yeah, heli building okay and I don't know it's what 40 meters or something like that doesn't matter we're gonna resize it anyway um, B for the paint bucket it's good to you um, to learn the short keys on these right okay so then right click Hang on, now we need to select it. Right click it, and position. So this is where it takes just a little bit of fine fiddling of lining these up with the original buildings. So you can see them ghosted in underneath. You can go into the materials, select edit, and then go to the opacity, and then just drop the opacity down a little bit. So you can kind of see through it a little bit more See how it's kind of ghosting out a little bit there. Right click, go position again. Right. 
So if we put that marker there into that bottom corner, so then it's all going to scale from that point. Put that, zoom that into there, and that's going to about there. Right, so now all we need to get is the rotation. Which the rotation looks quite good. Hang on. Uh, undo. Scale. I always hate the way with the pan on SketchUp that you can't do like a middle press button to pan. Let's just get those. And it kind of looks almost like it comes into focus when you get it lined up perfectly. And so it just takes a little bit of faffing around. You get better at it though. Um, and it depends on make sure like the the images that you're getting might be from two different map sources as well. Um, yeah, there we go. That there is lined up on there. And that's pretty good. I think that's almost lined up. That's not far off. Depends on how accurate you want this to be anyway. But there we go. So that's now aligned. And then what we can do is that we can if we unlock the original and just delete that. We now got the high resolution image in SketchUp. Right click that and we can uh, see so you can we can lock that. Uh, Oh, it is already locked, isn't it? Lock, unlock. There we go. So it's locked. So there you go. Now you can start accurately um, drawing out your buildings. So you can pick, so from that point there, pretty accurately along there. There we go. Push, pull. Whatever that's going to be. So there we go. So I'd share that with you. Um, let me just go... Um, just one last thing, let me go back into those preferences again. Turn off the maximum texture. I'm not sure if it will sort of do this now because it's already been on. But it is slightly fuzzier without that maximum texture. I think once it's already been enabled, when you've got the program open, it doesn't sort of tend to go back again. It depends on your graphics card anyway. So, um, But yeah, there you go. So if you're using SketchUp and um, you're struggling with the imagery on there, it's a little bit of a ball like it's obviously not as quick to um, uh, put through. Oh, and also um, on the original imagery, you were able to get the toggle terrain, which there's not really much terrain there. It's pretty flat, but obviously you don't get that um, on the um, if you put on the rectangle. However, what you would be able to do is you could turn that terrain, um, you can make it into a mesh and then project that image onto the mesh if um, if you really needed that terrain. So but there we go. I um, hope this video has been of some help to you. If it has, give it a like. And if you want to watch any more of my videos, subscribe and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.